So I need to type the address I'm seeing there. So 192.168.0.193. So there you go. So the first thing it will ask you is to do, uh, have a new password. So we'll just set up something uh, uh, easy. Can be anything. So you will see uh, the environment. There you go. So you have the, the left uh, panel right there, and you have the upper panel uh, that you can use also uh, during your navigation. So the first thing to do is to collapse or prepare the drive I installed. So basically you go in uh, storage, so you will see all that uh, icon and you go at the last one, view disk, and I'm seeing my disk I installed, so the SATA drive, uh, so it's ADA1 and ADA2, so 250 gigs and the other one it's 320 gigs. So I will combine them, it will give me 500 uh, 18 gigs mostly. So what I need to do for that is to create a ZFS uh, volume. So I need to click on the first icon. So I will give uh, a name. So I will call it array. So what I will do is add this one and add the other one. So I have two, two drives to add. So I will click on the add volume. And what it will do, it will just merge both all together. There we go. Like I said, you have 500, eight, nine, uh, 17.8 gigs. So, the next thing to do is to go on the storage volume and we'll see right there the volume. So, we'll need to create a ZFS dataset. So I will call it this one uh, rip, rip, one. Oops. Rip, rip, one. So maybe I will create an array two uh, someday. So so that's it. Add the data set. So the next thing I need to do is to create an account. Um, so I need to go on the um, sorry, oh yeah, we'll close that account. User added a user. So I will call this one. Uh, So I need to browse uh, the home directory, so I will use the array one. Close. And also uh, I will disable uh, password login for that uh, purpose, of course. And, oops, sorry. And I will click OK. Uh, no, sorry.
is creating the the account. So what I need to do is to go on the share and I will add a Windows CIFS this one right there so I have uh, we need to add a window so name will be right one path everyone so I will keep that uh, I'll guess access I need to check that uh, and I sh should be okay with that We'd like to enable the service, so the service of uh, Windows uh, uh, CIFS is not uh, enabled. So I say yes. So we will go there, and you will see the this one will change to on. Here we go. The other computer React is creating all the stuff. So normally. There, sharing. So if I'm going back to sharing, everyone, this is my path. So everything is there. So from there, I can use my computer, this one. And my FreeNAS server is there, so it, it show in my network. So what I can do is to make sure I had, or no, I mapped the drive. So on the W or as you wish, which the one you want. Uh, whoops, W. So 92.168.0.190. So Here we go. So you will see right there. And what I can do is to add a test, add a new folder. Test. Here we go. So my drive is set up already. So you can put some some files. So I will say uh, we'll put uh, the test I sent, and it's transferring. There we go. So basically, you're set up and you're ready to go with your FreeNAS uh, server access on any Windows machine or Unix, uh, depends on the setup uh, you're done. The next, um, I'll just rotate, the next project I would like to do with that is to do a media server. So um, we can put movies, uh, we can put photos, uh, pictures. Uh, mostly we, will, we can put any movies uh, when you bought a uh, Blu-ray or uh, any, any DVD uh, you can download a digital copy so you can transfer the copy into uh, the web uh, the media uh, media server so everywhere from the house you can look at uh, your movies or pictures hopefully I hope that helped a lot uh, please uh, subscribe uh, to the channel and any comments is welcome. So, see you soon. Bye.